Hi, and thanks for joining this video. My name is Luke, and today's video will be a demo on how to connect TBC to ArcGIS Pro using an enterprise geodatabase. The top image here shows a data set that was imported into Trimble Business Center, and the bottom image shows that same data set exported from TBC and into ArcGIS Pro. This video will demo how to set up that connection and how to exchange data once that connection is established. First things first, you'll have to download Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. It is available online for free. This is where you will start a SQL Server database. To start a new database, right-click the Database node and select New Database. This window will pop up where you can give it a name, and an important note here is that you can't have any spaces in your name. Consider replacing any spaces with an underscore, or make it all one word, or else it won't work. Now that you have your new database, you can see that it shows up in the Object Explorer and highlighted in blue here. So once you see it there, go ahead and select New Query in the top ribbon. This blank page shows up. So now I'm going to copy and paste the following text. You will also need to copy down what I have written down here in order to properly establish the connection. So feel free to pause the video here and write down what I have written down here. So now that you have it typed out, wherever there are carrots, you'll need to replace it with the name of your new database. So for my case, it's GIS demo. So we're going to go ahead to the second one, once again, GIS underscore demo. And then once you have them both written out, you can go ahead and press execute. So once the execution is finished, you can see at the bottom it'll say commands completed successfully. So this means the connection has been made and we are done with Microsoft SQL. So we can now move into TBC. So now in TBC, open the project you want to send to ArcGIS. And a quick note, all the stuff that I am doing in SQL and in TBC will only have to be done once. This is because we are setting up the database from scratch. So the SQL management and then exporting out this XML schema, which I'm going to do right now, only has to be done once. So now in TBC, first you're going to want to hit the export button and then once the export command opens, maneuver to the GIS tab and select Geodatabase XML Exporter, as I am doing here. Now click into the data window and select all the data you want to send over to ArcGIS. So once all your data is highlighted in yellow and selected, go ahead and make sure everything under the feature codes window is set to no, as we don't want to send that data over. All of these are already set to no for me as I have done this step before. So next you're going to want to give your XML file a name and save it to a meaningful location as you're going to need this XML file later. You can save it to the location you want by pressing on the buttons highlighted here. So now that you've given your XML file a name and all the data you want to send over is selected, you can go ahead and press export. So once that's done exporting, go ahead and launch up Arc Pro. and just wait for that to load up. So once it's open, you can open up a project, either a new one or an old one, they both will work. I'll just create a new one and give it the same name as the original database. So with the new map open, go into the catalog pane and right click on the database node and select new database connection. In the database platform, make sure SQL server is selected, your instance is written properly and you have the proper database selected and then hit OK. Now you can see that your database connection is added to the catalog. Just to keep everything uniform and with the same naming convention, go ahead and rename the database connection. Now that everything is set up with the correct name, I'm going to enable the database. You do so by right-clicking the database and selecting Enable Enterprise Geo Database. And once again, these are all steps that you only have to do the one time while setting up a new database. So now in the Geoprocessing tab here, you're going to have to go ahead and add your authorization file. So this file should have been given to you when you got your ArcGIS Pro license. So once you've got your file added, go ahead and press Run and wait for it to load. So once that's done loading, go ahead and close out the Geoprocessing tab and return to the Catalog pane. So now you're going to have to go ahead and add the XML schema that we got from TBC. You can do this by right-clicking on the database in ArcGIS and then selecting Import and then XML Workspace Document. The XML Workspace Document is the document that you got from selecting your data in TBC. So go ahead and find where you stored that 
data where you save that data in TBC and go ahead and import it into this pane. Now change the import options to schema only and leave the configuration keyword blank. Now that that's all set up, go ahead and press run in the bottom right corner of the command pane. So once that finishes loading, we will be ready to send data from TBC to ArcGIS Pro. Now back in TBC, go to the GIS ribbon and then open the GIS Connection Manager command as highlighted here. So in this command, go ahead and create a new connection by pressing the New button and give the connection a name. In the data source type, select Enterprise Geodatabase and then make sure to unselect Use Feature Name instead of Alias and then press Connect. So once you press Connect, you'll be prompted to go find the database from ArcGIS and then if you're like me and can't seem to remember where you stored your database, you can find its location by opening the properties of the database in ArcGIS. So just right click the node and then go to properties and then it'll show you where you stored it. So then I'm just going to go find it. So once you load in the STE file, you're going to get this warning that says your coordinate systems don't exactly match. That's alright, just move on and press OK. Then in the GIS connection command, navigate to the top window and select write features to GIS and make sure you still have everything selected that you want to pass over. Now note that all of the objects are in the new column. This is because we haven't sent anything over yet. So then go ahead and press OK and then you'll receive this note that says X amount of features were passed over. Do you want to generate a report? Feel free to open this report, but you don't have to. I'll choose to open this report. The report is just a quick summary of all the features that were passed over. So if you scroll to the bottom of the report, it'll tell you if any of the objects fail to be sent over. So as you can see here, 181 objects were written over successfully and 4 failed. Looking into the reasons of why they failed, you can see that 4 of my line strings only had one node. So that shouldn't cause any issues, so now I'll go ahead and close this report and open up ArcGIS. So now, if you look at the database, you can see that there's a little expander there now, just a little drop-down arrow. So if the expander is not there for you, you may just have to refresh the database. You can do that by right-clicking on the node and hitting that refresh button. So expanding that node, you can see everything that was written over now shows underneath the database. Select all of these objects other than points and lines because they are duplicates that Esri writes over, and then drag and drop them into the map view. So once you drag it in, just wait for it to load. And then once it's finished loading, you can zoom into your data. Once you get close enough, you can see the similarities between what you see in ArcGIS and TBC. This means that the data was loaded in successfully. I'll now show you how to add and edit objects in ArcGIS and how to send them to TBC. So if you move into the Edit ribbon and then hit the Create button, this Create Features pane shows up. So on this pane, you can pick from different objects you want to add. So just click a feature you want to add and then select where in the map you would like to add it. I'll select a broadleaf tree and add it right here. So now select Attributes in the Edit tab and then this is where you can edit the attributes of your feature. So I'll give my broadleaf tree a trunk of 2 meters in diameter and a spread of 5 meters. And then I'll also make it an apple tree because who doesn't enjoy a good apple tree? And then once I'm happy, I'll hit apply. So you can also change pre-existing features. So with the attributes pane still open, I'll find the feature that I want to edit. Here's a hickory tree. And I'll change the spread to 11 meters and leave the trunk with a diameter of 1 meter. So I'll now go ahead and hit apply. And now with those two features changed, I'll go back and move to TBC and then open the GIS Connection Manager and select Read Features to GIS and then wait for that to load. And then once that finishes loading, you can see that there has been one new broadleaf tree and the other one is already linked so it doesn't show up in new and then I press OK and wait for that. The new feature is added to TBC with the attributes linked to that feature. Just to show you, I'll open up the properties pane of that feature that was created in ArcGIS. And as you can see, our apple tree was passed over with the proper attributes. 
So now that our database is now enabled, it is much easier to pass data between the two softwares. To show that process, I'll once again go ahead and change up the attributes. I'll shrink the tree to a 1 meter in diameter and a 3 meter spread and change it to an oak tree. I'll also check on the attributes of the hickory tree that we manipulated and sh shrink its spread once again to 7 meters. To send back these features to Arc Pro, you redo the same process. Open up the GIS Connection Manager, go to Write Features to GIS, select the features you want to send over, make sure that the Write Previously Written Features box is checked, and then press OK. This time, I won't generate the report. So now open up Arc Pro, and now I'll make sure that everything was sent over correctly. So first I'll open up the Attributes pane, and then I'll select the features. So as you can see, our apple tree has been turned into an oak tree with the proper attributes, and our hickory tree spread has been reduced to 7 meters. So that is how you connect and exchange data between ArcGIS Pro and Trimble Business Center using an enterprise geodatabase. Thanks for watching and enjoy using this feature. Bye.